Welcome to GMaestro. This demo is a step-by-step -step guide on using GMaestro's platform. This will help you understand how to deploy GMaestro on your clusters and apply the generated recommendations to optimize and reduce your Kubernetes costs. After you've signed up, it's time to deploy GMaestro on your desired cluster. GMaestro is installed as a single pod on your cluster with read-only permissions. Before installing GMaestro, ensure the metric server is enabled to collect the resources metrics. To install GMaestro, fill the cluster name area. Make sure to generate a separate YAML file for every cluster. Then choose the namespace for GMaestro to be installed on. In this demo, we're using default as a namespace, but you can choose whichever namespace you want. Click on generate config file and download the YAML to apply it to your cluster using the provided command. As you can see, GMaestro is successfully installed and is already starting to collect data. In less than five minutes, you'll be redirected to the cluster view, giving you full visibility into your Kubernetes cluster. The cluster view is available under the clusters tab on the side menu. The resources table displays all the workloads currently running on your cluster. You can validate your cluster health using this table, check how many pods are running on it, and view the reserved and utilized CPU and memory metrics. When hovering over the info icon, you'll see the containers list and HPA policies. Note that it might take a moment or two for the recommendations to appear as GMaestro is still gathering data. Now, let's review the recommendations we received. You can click on the recommendations tab at the top of the page, or you can click see all near the top three recommendations. When first opening the Recommendations tab, several preferences need to be set. Age, the duration that GMaestro analyzes the workload's behavior. As time passes, this value can be increased since more data is collected. Buffer, the safety margin. This should be taken from the peak resource utilization. And Mode, determines whether recommendations are based on an average value across all pods or the pod with the maximum utilization value. These preferences can be changed anytime from the menu above the table. Each line contains the recommended changes for that specific workload, including CPU and memory requests. In case an HPA policy change is required, it will be displayed under the HPA policy column. The saving value is an estimated calculation based on an average cost per core. Changing one of the preferences, such as buffer, immediately updates the required request changes. There are two options to apply the changes. The first option is to copy the updated YAML using the Copy YAML button and commit it to your Git repository. Notice that this requires to redeploy the workload. The second option is to use the provided patch command, which immediately updates the workload request values for both current and future pods. As you can see, the patch was done successfully. By selecting multiple workloads, you can download a YAML file that includes all the required changes. And that's it. New recommendations are generated every several hours and will be updated automatically with every cluster change. Pro tip. Check for new recommendations every day or two as GMaestro continuously analyzes your dynamic workloads.